Hey guys, in this video we're going to show you how to set up presets and how to use them. Um, at the beginning of this video we're just going to quickly do set up a couple segments and then we'll roll right into turning those segments into presets. As you can see in the video, this is the back side of my house here on the side. So we'll go ahead and make a few different, try a few different segments on this and see how it works out. Um, right now I have 160 LEDs, let's say we'll switch it to 50. You can see how only 50 of the LEDs light up and I set it so it starts from left to right. Even though I have the controller actually in the middle of the lights, you can set it up so that um, number one LED starts at the far left of the house and ends on the far right. So for this, for the sake of this video, we will um, keep this at 160 lights, which is right across the entire house. Now we'll set up, so we want to do say, we want to space these out. So we'll say we'll group two lights together and we'll space them two lights apart. So hit apply. You'll see how that looks, looks pretty good. Um, we can also space it, say, four apart. So you got two and then four in between. Um, you can do groups of four, four apart. See, there's lots you can do there. So let's say you want to set this up. You like the two grouping and you like the spacing of two. So let's hit apply. You can see all that changes out there. Now let's, we want to save this as a preset. So if you go down at the bottom on the right, you'll see this preset area here. So you want to, this will always show up if you don't have any presets yet. So as soon as this will go away, as soon as you enter your first preset. So create a preset. Oh, sorry. Create a preset, not a playlist. Now we'll say, we'll call this, um, white lights two by two. So then hit save. And then now it'll save it as that. So if we go, um, back to here and say we want, so if you do any, anything else, let's say I do an effect, it's always going to be in that two by two because those segments are still set at two by two. If I hit BPM, it's always two by two. So we have to go back to segments and just put it back to one with no spacing. Oops, zero. There, that lights them all up again. So now if we want to do anything else or set a different preset, so say we just want it as solid, We'll leave it like that. We'll go to presets. We'll create another and we'll just go white lights solid. Save it. And so now we have white lights solid and white lights two by two. So if you click that, you'll see it switches. White light solid goes back to that. So now you can do anything you want. Like if you want to um, go to an effect and see you like, oh, I don't know. Just pick any one, I guess. You can something that you can change the colors on. Um, so we'll say we'll do chase two. So there's chase, and then say you want to change the color now to green, something like that, and say you know you like that color or you want to add more colors. So say you want to go, oh I don't know, colors one and two. So then you can click on this and change color number two to a blue. Now you got green and blue going. So say you like that. You're like, perfect. I want to keep that. Go to your presets, create the preset, say chase, um, blue and green. Save that as a preset. Now you have it in there. So now you got white lights. It'll switch, changes everything, changes the segments, everything for wherever you save, it'll save it. And say like, um, you wanna make a change to this, you just click on it and then go to say color. So we'll change it to green. No, oh, I'm not too sure why that's not working. Oh, sorry, because I got it clicked on color two, so it have to be color one. There we go. So now I would say I want to turn those green. And then I go back to my presets, 
and then it's the white lights two by two. If I wanted to now save this as green lights two by two, then you can just hit save changes and whatever change you made, it'll now save it at the current setting. So now say if you go white light solid, it's gonna be white and go green light solid or green lights two by two. Now they're green two by two. So any change that you make when you're in that preset, you can go back to here and save those changes. And then now you'll have that, whatever that current setting is will now be saved and whatever one you pick. Um, now we can go a little bit further in depth if you wanna create a playlist. So this is kind of more during the holidays, stuff like that. So let's say you get a, you know, um, we'll just make sure segments are back to normal. So normal would be grouping one, zero spacing. So that would just be normal solid white like it is right now. So say we want, you know, um, set up some Christmas stuff. So we'll go color twinkles, something like that. So we're like, okay, we like that. Let's save that as a preset. Save it. And then we'll go back here and we'll say, um, I like candy cane, which is personal favorite. Go back, go candy cane, save it. Now you can say, okay, I want candy cane, maybe chase blue and green and color twinkle all in a playlist together that just constantly rotate through. So you can go to create a playlist, enter it, say, Christmas. Now you can say I want, um, we'll say we want color twinkle. How long do we want that to run for? So we'll say, well, we want it to run for 10 seconds. So that'll run for 10 seconds. Now we can add another one. So we'll say we want uh, candy cane. It'll run for 10 seconds and then it'll switch. So then we'll add another one. We'll say we want uh, chase blue green. That'll run for 10 seconds. So now we can say, okay, uh, it'll just repeat indefinitely or you can shuffle between them. I just usually hit repeat and you can test it if you want to see if it works or you can just save it. So I'm just gonna save it as a playlist. So now we have a Christmas playlist. So we'll click on that. It says loading preset Christmas. Now you can see it's going to do color twinkle for 10 seconds. Now it changed to candy cane do that for 10 seconds and then it should switch now to chase blue and green so you get an idea and then you can always just go if you want to exit out of that or go back to your white solid white lights you just click that boom changes right back it's pretty easy to set up playlists are easy um, presets are super easy segments you can really get into a lot of stuff with segments you can break all these lights down but i think we'll save that for another video and dive deep into into segments but at least you have an idea now for presets how to how to set some of those up and you can do as many as you want create playlists for everything so you can have your you know architectural lighting you can have all that kind of stuff all set up for the holidays make it the way you want i think ultimately rather than just always going into here and picking different stuff you just pick the stuff you like custom customize it the way you want and then go back here and uh you know, set up your playlists and everything, and then just always end up going back to here to uh, play your different effects and stuff like that. So yeah, if there's anything else, I'll add some more to the end of this video, but I think that really covers how to create presets. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, put them down below and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Thanks a lot, bye.